Hi guys, I realise I haven't actually physically spoke to you as yet. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a weekly, week, another weekly vlog. I graduated yesterday, which I'm so excited about. It's not your typical graduation though. It is literally just my beginner's, well, I'm not saying just, it's my beginner's pole graduation. So I graduated from beginner's and I'm now on intermediate, which I'm so excited about. As you'll see, the clip you've just watched, that little dance is actually the little dance routine that we'll have to do. I'm so unconfident when it comes to dance. Like I can do the pole things no bother but when we have to do the floor work and feel sexy and confident like I just struggle I've never ever done dance in my life so I don't have that like thing about us where I'm like performing dance I feel very self-conscious doing dance not gonna lie but I really want to get better my intermediate goals when I'm doing my pole dance is to get more confident with the actual dance side of it um I feel like I've definitely progressed loads though in the six weeks in terms of my techniques and stuff on the pole um and I'm finding the pole a lot easier to use which is really exciting I love it so much though so not next week because I'm away next week I'm going to London change of plan um i was meant to be going to turkey but now i'm going to london long story short well i'll tell you that in another day well it's actually coming up in a vlog but anyway so yeah so um yeah i'm really really excited to progress with paul i feel like it's something that i am going to keep up i'm notorious for not keeping things up though i'm quite bad at just doing something loving it and then deciding I'm bored of it but I really want to keep pole up I find it so good for my body I feel good doing pole and I want to get confident with it and I want to actually be good at it um so we'll see how that goes but yeah I graduated this week I'm so excited I've got a week off next week and then I will be back and I'll be going into intermediate the week after so yeah that is very exciting um what else was I gonna say I have so much stuff to list on Depop. Um, I feel like I've mentioned it so many times. I don't want to be one of these people that mention it all the time. But I have lost a little bit of weight. So I'm two dress sizes down. Which means a lot of my clothes aren't fitting. I have bought some lovely new clothes. Mainly from charity shops. But all of this yeah is a big pile of clothes in which i need a list on depop i need to get that done asap because it's just sitting around and i want to get things packaged and sent out so i can get more space for more clothes i really need to rein in the spending but i need to get that done i've listed a few things but i'm being very slow with it i need to just dedicate an hour i might do it the night i might get a coffee dedicate an hour bulk bulk do the stuff i need to do you know anyway yeah so i just wanted to pop on and tell you about the little graduation i'm so excited about it and i'm really glad i kept the six weeks up i know it's not a big deal at six weeks but i give up on things really quick so the fact that i went every week for six weeks apart from one week when i was away um but yeah i really really i loved it i love 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 cherry teaching paul she's so amazing um her and lisa who are the teachers are just so amazing and I feel really inspired and confident when I go and I know that that confidence is only going to grow the more I go so I have a cup back right I'm going to bash out the stuff that I need to list on Depop Sean put these little hooks up for us and they're so good because I literally just put my Depop stuff on here and sell it well take my pictures and then sell it um, I do, I mainly post on Depop because I just find my stuff sells quicker on Depop and the prices are quite good. Whereas when I sell on Vinted, I find that people list things on Vinted for like two, three quid and I offer free postage on everything. So like I like to, the postage to be free because I just like getting free postage myself. So on Vinted, I don't think they like you doing that. The seller pays the post, no, the buyer pays the postage. And it just, yeah, like, it just complicates us. It doesn't complicate us, but I just prefer Depop. So I will always list my stuff on Depop first. And then if it doesn't sell, I'll put it on Vinted about a week or two after. And then if it doesn't sell, it goes to the charity shop. So I need to take photos. Majority of stuff I'm selling is purely just because it's got too big on us or it just doesn't fit. Like this, I absolutely love it. Um, it's my favourite thing. It's a Elise coat that I got for my birthday or Christmas. No, it's not been my birthday. It's Christmas. Um, and I asked for it and I got it in a size 20 and it just drowns us. Every time I've tried to make it work, I'm just absolutely gutted because it was quite big to begin with, but Sean had ordered it too early, so I could never return it. Um, and I just love it so much. I love the colours. I just oh, I love it. And I've kept a hold of it. I'm just keeping a hold of it. But I'm like, I need to sell it. And then I can get a new one. When I, well, to be honest, I don't need a new coat. Like, if I'm being realistic, I do not need a new coat. But, you know. 
we can think about it anyway. So I'm gonna sell this one. Um, yeah, isn't it cute though? Like I love the beigey colours on it. Sad times to see that coat go. just had a really scary health encounter health illness whatever it was i don't know um i was sitting in the office editing i mean it is late it's like it's quarter past one but i had a really good sleep last night so i don't think it's because i'm tired because i honestly don't feel that tired i was um sitting in the office just editing a video and i hadn't been on the screen that long because obviously I thought, God, have I been on, like, you know, my computer too long? Is it the screen time? But I'd literally just been editing for probably an hour and a half, which is a really small session. Um, anyway, long story short, I just, my head just went, you know when you're on a roller coaster and your stomach turns and you get a butterfly and you, your head spins and you get this, like, sick feeling? I honestly felt like that but like not an enjoyment way when you're on a roller coaster. This was a pure like, uh, like I just, my head spun. The like room went a bit blurry. Um, and every, yeah, like I just, and it, it didn't last long at all. It lasted like probably a second, but it felt like it lasted a while. And Sean's on night shift tonight. I'm in the house by myself and I had a moment where I was like, fuck, what is happening? So I've stopped editing because I got a bit scared. Um, I honestly was like, am I going to pass out? Like, what's going to happen? Um, I've never passed out in my life before, I don't think. So I don't know, like, if that's something that would happen. Like, I, I just don't know. But I got scared. So, um, yeah. And I've had, like, decent food the day. I haven't under ate. I just don't know what it was, but I got a bit scared. So I've gonna well i'm gonna just go to bed i think it's my body telling us get to bed but yeah i've never i've never had that before like not i've had dizzy spells where like you feel dizzy and stuff when you stand up is that like your blood pressure or something but this like i literally didn't do anything i was sitting at the desk editing and i just felt like i was on a roller coaster i was like oh i was like oh my god i feel absolutely fine now but it was just a moment of not a nice feeling i was really really scared to be honest i just had a moment my heart started thumping and i was like god what's happening i have like so i have death anxiety and i know this is like tmi deep i know but um i've did a full video on it before if you want to know more about that but like any health thing i get i get a bit worried i'm not like a hypochondriac sean's a bit of a hypochondriac like in the time i've known him he's had about 12 hernias and i've not had he, he hasn't had any hernias but like he just feels a bit of a lump or he feels something he's like, I've got a hernia. And I'm like, you haven't got a hernia. Like, Sean's a hypochondriac. I'm not a hypochondriac, I don't think. Maybe I am, I don't know. But, like, I just, like, with health, I get really worried. I really do. Like, I love life. I want to I wanna live a, a long, happy life. And, um, yeah, deep. I literally went dizzy. And I'm like, this is how my mind works. I went dizzy. I felt like I was on a roller coaster. I felt sick. And now all of a sudden I'm like deep chatting health. But you know, <laughs> I'm always humming. That's something I've noticed about myself recently. I always hum. I'm always just like, I always catch myself and I'm just like, mm -hmm. I'm just like, why am I humming? I've just felt dizzy. <laughs> I'm so dramatic. This morning we've got up and got ready. I have this, I've had this booked in for ages. Sean for Christmas got us a flight simulator. 
um, experience thing. So I've got this booked in today. I'm a bit intrigued. I'm going to do the Boeing. I think there's loads of different options like jet. And it says that trainee pilots like actually use these simulators to train. Um, so yeah, I'm quite excited to see what it's like. Um, we're in an industrial park at the minute. And I don't know. It looks like it's going to be in a unit thing. But I'm not really sure. And I like storage cabin. But I don't know what might not be. Anyway, so yeah, I'm going to do the bow though. There's like different options. You can do like fighter jets or like different ones. But I feel like I just want to do your traditional bow in. Excited. Can't wait to watch it. Look at these fingers. He's cut himself. Mm -hmm. On what? Corn beef tin. <laughs> Corn beef tin sliced him open. Mm -hmm. Show them your hand. No, mm -hmm. two. Show I don't want to upset people, you know, in case a bit gruesome. <laughs> yeah. Two little cuts. Nice. So dramatic. Didn't stop bleeding, <laughs> um, But yeah, it is to only arrive five minutes before the appointment and we're a little bit early, so we're just chilling. And then we'll be going in. So we're at New York, John F. Kennedy Airport. Um, let me just check the weather. I'm not going to get any crazy crosswinds or something. Yeah, it's going to come in the middle and then we're going to go forward. Okay. And then you'll be locked in place. So I'm just going to come like that. We're going to go to the about there. How does that feel? Yeah, that's great. And all right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so you're going to see there New York and. And Newcastle would be Newcastle. nice. Newcastle? Yeah. Okay then. Right, fine. We'll take off from here. We'll have to fly around New York. We'll see all the sights and sounds. And then we'll uh, we'll head off to uh, Newcastle and we'll fly around home. Good stuff. So. Um, you've obviously had a bit of experience in the light aircraft, which uh, all sounds very exciting, very good fun, because <laughs> you'll be a natural at this. <laughs> but I'll just give you a quick brief on the controls. They're pretty much the same as what you've done already in the real aircraft. It's the okay. same idea, same principle, but it's obviously it's a little bit slower to respond being a bigger, heavier aeroplane. Yeah. We've got to anticipate what it's going to do. In front, we've got a screen on the left-hand side. That's called the primary flight display. So most of our flying we want to do looking out the window, but we've got that instrument there in case we're going in the cloud or in the climb on takeoff, we can't see out the window. So the instrument, what it shows us is there's a white square bang in the middle. Yeah. That white square is the nose of the aircraft. So we'll take off, we'll do a left turn, we'll fly towards Long Island, New York. Then we'll keep coming round and we'll fly over LaGuardia Airport in New York. That's where uh, a guy called Captain Sully, he took off from that airport. 12 years ago now I think it was and got a double bird strike yeah. lost his engines Miracle on the Hudson had to glide all the way down land on the river I've Hudson i the Tom Hanks film I love Tom Hanks That's... well Cape system test is good no issues no errors recall check this is our little warning panel up here we'll make sure that lights up panel here now if you can reach up here and turn on no smoking and seat belts so well, that's why there's two noises when you're on a plane. That's right. And Everyone of course, wonders that. There's theories that go around. If you have three, <laughs> something's going yeah, wrong. We're going down. We're going to crash. <laughs> yeah, at 10 degrees. We want a nice, steady 10 degree climb out towards Long Island. Yeah. Okay. And yes, it means you've got to watch the instrument a little bit. But I want you to look out the window as well. Yeah. To the sides and that kind of thing. Right then. Any questions? No. No. Ready to go flying? Yeah. Um, Pretty knots on the auto throttles, and we're going to bring the flaps all the way up. We've got no scared passengers. I think we're going bumpy. I'm sure they'll be fine. Keep that turn on, so just keep it where it is, that's fine. See, your nose is dropping a little bit there, so you want a little bit more back pressure. That's it. We'll keep coming around till we find LaGuardia, which is in this direction. So it's it. So we're just passing 7,000 feet there now on the altimeter and we're still climbing. Here comes all that cloud we can see all the time. Yeah. Are you a pilot? I am, yes, yes I am, yeah. I know you wouldn't believe it, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I've been flying for 35 years now. Oh wow, do you still fly? Too many, I spent too much time in here now. Do you? Yeah, not as much as I'd like to, but uh, yeah, no, not really, not who, anymore. Who you worked for? Well, I'm self-employed, so right. from my point of view, my background is uh, historically I fly military jet fighters. Oh wow! And I'm a test pilot, air show display pilot, so 
Uh, I, that's why I specialise in flying fast jets, wow. head air shows, test flying them for other people, whoever, whatever. There's lots of famous people who own these kind of jets. Yeah. And uh, but they normally can't fly them. They've got the money to, to have it and afford to run it, but they don't normally fly it. Yeah. So uh, I've, I've had the opportunity to fly lots of different aircraft, everything from 1930s biplanes to supersonic uh, jet fighters. Wow. Uh, and uh, obviously, many moons ago, 20 years ago, I got the fortunate chance to go and fly on the Concorde, so, uh, which is obviously the fastest airliner in the Aye. world at the time, twice the speed of sound. So since then I've had a real hankering to fly a Concorde, but now they don't fly anymore. No. So the, the company is now building a Concorde simulator. I heard that. So yeah, so we're, we're gonna we're gonna get a new. We've got nine simulators in here at the minute, and uh, helicopters, fighter jets, Spitfires. But we're gonna get a Lancaster bomber in the next six months or so, and we're gonna get a Concorde. So you're gonna see. River Hudson, there's the Hudson, so that there's like a bridge over the river there. Oh yeah. That's where Captain Sully, that's the bridge that Sully just cleared. So that's all of New York down there. New Jersey's the other side yes. of the river of course. Have you been to New York? I have, I got engaged there. Oh been there fantastic. Twice. Oh brilliant. It's beautiful. Yeah. New Jersey, heading towards the Hudson and you'll see all of the skyscrapers. Announced they're going to retire Concorde. Right. It was, it was just after the Concorde had crashed in in uh, Paris, yeah. and they were like, "Oh, we're going to get rid of the Concorde, you know, and this kind of stuff." So we're going to we're going to ground them all. It's like, "Oh, I've got to do Concorde, you know." So I remortgaged the house <laughs> to do it. Got the money together, and uh, me and the wife to be at the time, we uh, we got the money together, booked up the flights. And what we're going to do now is going to start a right hand turn and follow the River Hudson down. On the left, oh, wow. there's all of New York. On the left, you see, you know, see where the Freedom Tower is, where the Twin Towers were. The financial District, that's Wall Street down there. I was disappointed with the Statue of Liberty, mate. She was oh, yeah. smaller than I thought. Yeah, it's not that big, is Everyone it? Everyone sees that, don't yeah, they? do, yeah, yeah. I think it's because, I think as well, when you're in New York, obviously you're looking at all the tall buildings, so she just looks even <laughs> more <laughs> underwhelming. She's like... I'm sure when she got delivered there, what, 300 years ago, 250 years ago, it was probably the biggest thing there. It was probably oh, really? huge. Yeah, yeah, because it was a gift from France, wasn't it? Yeah. So uh, I'm sure back then there was no skyscrapers and it was huge. <laughs> she probably was at that point. Those these would be good as well for people scared of flying wouldn't they? Mm -hmm. And yeah. to give them confidence in like how the aircraft were. Exactly, we do do a fear of flying course, you've got oh, one dear. hour, yeah, one hour, two hour. Should get me it's fairly on popular. She's she? to okay then, yeah, bring her down. Yeah. Now, that's it, just keep it all there. Keep looking at the end of the runway, keep aiming towards the end of the runway. <laughs> Everybody's clapping on the net. Do pilots think when people clap, do you laugh? Yeah, because normally I'm an autopilot. <laughs> <laughs> so you are just getting in a yeah, phone right fun now. Yeah, it's you, fun you. Yeah, no, no, no. yeah, it was the autopilot. That is so the funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, no problem. Anytime, yeah. <laughs> yes, Perfect yeah. landing. <laughs> so I'll go and load up uh, Newcastle. Yes, Have please. Have a fly around the V2. Keep pulling, keep pulling. Positive rate of climb. Yeah, okay, when you're ready, you can sort of left hand turn to the south. See the river tain already? Yeah. Yeah, good. So we're just going to follow the river over your left shoulder. And that'll take us towards Tain Mouth. Good. <laughs> Very good at this. <laughs> <laughs> Change your career? I wish. <laughs> <laughs> what made you want to be a pilot? I don't know. It's always been there. Oh, really? No, no, not in the family. So oh, because usually it is. People isn't ask it? me that, yeah, and I don't know where it came from, but it's always been there since the age of three years old. Uh, my earliest memories of being at the airport and that kind of stuff, you know, and going on holiday and fascinated by these huge, big metal things that flew, you know. <laughs> that's it. So that's that stick shaker we talked about. Oh. So we're just getting a bit close to the stall. So if you're over bank, when you're still in a low airspeed, you get a bit closer to the stall. Oh, really? That's all. And you see how easy it is on autopilot. Yeah. It levels off. Does the turn, it flies, it maintains the speed. No matter what the turbulence is, it pretty much does it all the time for you. God. And literally 99% of every flight is all autopilot. Really? Initially the takeoff, like yeah. you were doing, pulling back, bringing the nose up, 
when you get to 400 feet, boom, autopilot on. And then it cuts. So you haven't even left the end of the runway, and the aircraft's probably on autopilot. That's crazy. As early as that. In the next generation, getting designed now for the next, what, eight years' time, something like that, Airbus, for example, they're hoping, I don't know if it'll be approved, but they're hoping only have one pilot on board. So one person on board and the entire thing will be automatic. He's only there to keep you happy, really. The whole thing will be automatic. Yeah, we'll see. But that's what they're planning, that's what they're proposing. Um, so, amazing job. Have you ever had any scary experiences or not? Mm -hmm. Are you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I had something called an HP pump failure. So you've got a low pressure pump and a high pressure pump and they feed fuel to the engine. Right. And uh, I was up at 10,000 feet and I've been doing aerobatics in the air, in a jet aircraft it was, up in Northumberland, and the uh, the low fuel pressure one light came on and the HP pump failed and the engine started to wind down. So, I, sorry, the low pressure pump failed. So I had to restart the engine, but you can't restart that kind of engine when you're 10,000 feet, it's too high, the air's too thin. So you've got to glide down to 6,000 feet and you need a certain air speed as well, because if you're too slow, you can't have enough windmill energy in the engine. So you've got to accelerate, you've got to dive down and you've got to get a load of airflow through the engine and then you go for the relight and hope that it starts and it did. Oh my God. But I was a How three and a half foot glider. Though? Got to training. Is your training no just point so getting intense? Panicky. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And it's all about reading, knowing the aircraft inside out. Yeah. Reading the aircraft manuals, knowing the aircraft, knowing what's going on behind the panel. Yeah how to start so you I'm, feel secure in the aircraft yeah. so much so that any situation you know exactly what's happening be back in seeing as we're here <laughs> so i'll do a little bit of a right hand turn forward it's on the trot i think it was something like that yeah did that for a long time waddington great place and stand four overhead brakes come on and we hold it all there aircraft's all set and off no errors start switches come off and if you can reach up high now and turn off the no smoking seatbelts, all the way back there, one more, we can disembark. Very, <laughs> very noise. good flying. It's you made that look nice. really easy and it's not, it's actually really hard. <laughs> and you now get a little certificate as well. Woo! <laughs> it's so fun, I love it. It's, I mean, you can fly anywhere in the world, that's the thing. You can do all kinds of dangerous approaches, <laughs> all kinds of emergencies, bird strikes, engine fires, one, you know. What back from my experience, I loved that way more than I thought I was going to. Honestly, like yesterday when I was thinking about it and today, I thought it was going to be like one of them simulator things, which me and Sean were both talking about. You get them at amusements where it's like this white thing and you sit in it and it rattles and it's got like, you know, the animations. I thought it was going to be a bit like that, not going to lie. It wasn't. It was so good. It was like so high tech. I just loved every minute of it. The pilot was so so lovely and informative i was asking him so many questions as you can probably see from the footage i had a good night with him anyway i love that experience and he actually told us that they're getting a concord version of the simulators and it's due to be out end of the year so next year for christmas i might ask sean again for the experience and then next year i'll be able to do the concord which is to choose from this looks like an ad but it is not i wish it was um but it is boeing 737 that's the one i done today which is because they're the planes that i'm fascinated with most is like the boeings and um just your, your public planes i love them but that's all the like options they have but it was so good. And they actually do, if, you're, if you've got a Fiera Flying, they actually do like Fiera Flying courses. Oh, there, the courses available. Future Pilot, Fiera Flying, PPL Refresher, Boeing 737 Refresher. Because he was telling us that pilots actually have to do a certain amount of hours in simulators. They have to do an exam where they do um, emergency procedures and stuff in the simulators to actually pass. And it's exact simulate as that they would use it's so high quality in tech like i loved it i love love loved it um so if anyone else is obsessed with planes or into that type of thing then i would highly recommend you look and book in because uh, i had a really good time i did and that is going to conclude another video is so much for clicking on it i'm honestly truly grateful to anybody who spends their time watching my videos it means the absolute world and without further i'll see you very shortly for another one bye